Hi guys, a little bit about this Sherry Baby that drives me crazy. I bought it in October of 2014, around my birthday, and I really wanted a Sherry Baby. And I found it at Trader Joe's. It was a big plant to start with. It was in spike, smelled amazing, bloomed beautifully. Then, in March of 2015, I did get another spike. I enjoyed it for a while. And then in September of 2015, I decided the plant was too big and I wanted to divide it. I have since given away one of the divisions. One of the divisions was one bulb and I put it into semi-hydro. And that one has been growing just fine for one bulb division. And the other one was a tiny, tiny back bulb. You'll see it. The big mother plant I kept mainly intact and left it in the conventional bark moss mix. Uh, I have not seen any action except for some new growth since dividing it. It has not bounced back. It has not flowered for me. It's given me new growths, but nothing much more. So, another thing I've learned, I don't like dividing my plants. I'll make a video about that. But here is my sugar baby. This is the main mother plant. And she is huge. And I'm so sick of it. This thing grows so much. And it keeps giving me new growths, but never a freaking flower spike. So you know what? I'm pissed off at this plant. I'm about ready to throw it out, but I just get so attached to my plants and I can't see just throwing them out just because, you know, I've tried for so long. So what I'm doing now, potting into <sighs> semi-hydro. I don't know if it's going to fit in there. I really don't care if it fits or not. Maybe I'll just throw it in here, put some the beads around it. Maybe I'll do another, oh, maybe I'll do a crazy experiment. Maybe, because this big, big old bulb has given me these. What if I cut this bulb off? Right? Stupid plant's not blooming for me anytime soon. Uh, what if I cut this big, stupid bulb off? These bulbs have already matured. Um, this bulb is just kind of in the way. Maybe. Maybe I could just slice it. Come on. I'm gonna twist it. I really don't care. I really don't care. Boom. I took a bulb off. You know what I can do with this bulb? I could do a back division off of this bulb. I bet I could stick it in some water and grow it. But there's where the bulb was. And I know that I'm kind of butchering this plant. But honestly, like I said, this plant's heading for the trash. It is not one of my favorite plants. And it's really sad because I was super excited to get this plant. It's a sherry baby. They're so cool. They're such pretty plants. But this thing is gross. And it's always gross. And the new growth is gross. It's just... Ugh, it's just a frustrating plant to me. So, what better plant to do an experiment on than a big old sherry baby? Right? So now I can really shove this plant into the spot and have room for the growth. Because I've twisted off the bulb. Probably shouldn't have done that. Don't care though, like I said. Um, yeah. Maybe? Yeah, like that. There we go. Then I'll have new growth be able to grow here. New growth can grow there. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> Something like that. This bulb in the back, new growth, new growth. And we'll see how we'll see how it does after having a bulb brutally twisted off of it. And there's nothing wrong with this bulb, just the fact that it was old and I was, thought 
thought it was taking up too much space. <sighs> Stupid plant. Seriously, this plant makes me so mad. And look how gross the leaves are. Look at them. They're gross. This plant is just an ugly plant. I don't know why, but it grows. And the roots look great. Ah, this plant is so frustrating. Anyways, I'm going to get to potting it. All right, so there it is. My ugly sherry baby that makes me mad. Repotted with a bowl ripped off of it into semi-hydro. Like, this plant, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything to it for it to cause these rotten leaves in the middle. I don't know what its problem is. Oh, it is the most frustrating plant. And if it just dies in here, fine. Whatever. Maybe I can find a different sherry baby that's not so hideous. Look, there's another one. There's another rotten leaf in the middle. It always gives me rotten middle leaves. Right there. Boom. Another rotten middle leaf. None of my other Encidiums do this. Only this one. And if the leaves do grow out, they look gross. So seriously, probably a waste of like a beads, but... Who knows? Maybe it'll do better. I don't know. But this, this plant's heading for the trash. I'll give it a chance in here. But I might just chuck it. I do have some divisions off of it. I'll show you those. Okay, so my stupid cherry baby. Original mother plant here with detached bulb. And... We'll see how it goes. Here we have my little one. And there is a teensy tiny new growth. And it's actually doing all right. So this is kind of treating it as a seedling, but really it's a back bulb division. Uh, these little growths grew off of that ratty old bulb. So really, I could make another plant if I wanted to, if I liked this plant. But I don't. But I'm keeping this because it's small and I want to see how it does. Here was the first plant I ever put into semi-hydro. And this is a division off of that one. When I put it into semi-hydro, I put it in just one bulb. This is a one bulb division. And since then, it has been growing fairly well, actually, with a little grossness to it. Um, yeah, there were some wrinkling leaves, but oh! Oh wait, what's happening again? Boom, right inside there. Stupid brown inside leaf. Is it diseased? The roots look fine. You saw the roots on that one. Fine roots. I don't get water inside of it. Not that I know of, and if I do, it's like tiny minuscule amount. But I have a bunch of new growth on this one. And uh, this being a one bulb division has not bloomed for me since dividing it, but I'm keeping this one as an experiment and it's not that big. So those are my sherry babies or my one sherry baby. And, uh, they might just go in the trash. I'm just so fed up with its ugliness. Oh, I think, well, I don't know. It doesn't look all that healthy, but you saw the beautiful bulb and there's nothing wrong with that bulb. There's nothing gross or strange about it. So it's just a stupid plant that likes to make me angry. Oh well. I'll give it another chance. But I'm so mad at this plant that it does not deserve to take up space under my lights. So I'm going to find another place for this plant to live. It's been kicked out from under the lights. I don't want to deal with it. These guys are small, so they can live under the lights. Yeah. Put it somewhere else. Here we have my first back bulb division off of my hideous sherry baby, which I am trying to get rid of. But I'm keeping this because this is a cool experiment. And I want to just start over kind of fresh, I guess. I took this old bulb and I just stuck it in the dirt and it grew. These two little new growths, all these roots, and this new new growth right here. So 
I'm just going to keep this because it's small. It doesn't take up much room. I'm going to put it in the semi-hydro and uh, see how it goes.